Hello everyone and welcome to my channel guys for today's video I'm going to share with you some really cool hacks and DIYs that you can do to decorate your front porch or your door for Christmas and I made this a little bit early but I really want to share these hacks with you I'm going to be using Dolce supplies and my Cricut to make it these DIYs and I want to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video I'm going to be decorating my sister-in-law front porch now for Christmas I'm not going to be here in Florida for Christmas this year so I I just want to make something really special for her of course I love decorating things so that's what I'm going to do and with the help of my Cricut I hope that you are ready that you enjoyed today's video come with me and let's do it together are you ready Okay, for today's video, I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker 3 and it's a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with a software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. Um, and this is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. And once you have created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. And for today's video I'm going to make a professional grade costume and personalized front porch for my sister-in-law and I'm going to show you how easy it can be to work with your Cricut machine so let's get started with the first DIY I'm going to be um, creating a wreath um, and I want to make a really cool and personalized sign with the word joy so I'm going to work on my Cricut design space and I'm going to add a text I'm going to write the word joy and then you can can search for any font that you like for your project I decide to go with this one and I want all of the letters to look grouped together so what I'm going to do is to ungroup them to be able to put them tied together and then I'm going to weld everything and then I'm going to send it to my machine to be able to cut these in just one piece um, once you have that part ready um, you can select the material that you are going to use to be able to cut your design this time I'm going to be using smart vinyl um, and it's great because you can cut these with your Cricut Maker 3 so I'm gonna go with this really cute color that has glitter on it and I think it's perfect now for Christmas my Cricut Maker 3 is going to cut it super fast and once I have that parade I just have to remove all of the vinyl that I don't need from those letters then I'm going to add a transfer tape on top to be able to transfer my decal on my sign I decide to go with this really cute wooden snow from Dollar Tree I am um, you can paint it any color I decide to go with some wax in antique color I'm going to stick my decal and this is how this project looks now it's time to add it to my wreath I'm going to use this simple wreath that I have It's perfect now for Christmas and I'm going to put my snowflake sign on top and you can add some hot glue just to make sure that it's not going to fall Now because this is going to be like a winter wonderland theme, I decided to get some snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree. I got three packages and they come with two snowflakes each. So I'm going to stick those six snowflakes on my wreath. You can add a little bit of hot glue to secure them. And then if you want, you can leave like that. Um, but I want to add an extra touch. So I have these blue uh, like berries. I think they are from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut them in half to be able to have more for the entire wreath now to be able to hang these on the front door I need like a hanger but the only one that I found is this one in red color and it doesn't match with the decor that I am doing so um, a simple cool hack that you can do is to, is to use the same smart vinyl I cut small pieces and I'm going to stick them on my hanger and it's going to have the same the same color of my whole project it's going to look amazing it has glitter and I think it looks super cool so that's what I did I stick that and then I'm going to be hanging these on my sister-in-law front door and then I'm going to hang the wreath that we just DIY <music> 
for the next part of this project, I'm going to be using two pieces of wood. They are four feet long, I think. And I want to make like a really long front porch sign for my sister-in-law. So I decided to make these with some wood that I just have in my garage. I'm going to stick them together by putting small pieces of wood on the back and using nails. Once I have that part ready, you can sand everything to have a smooth surface. And if you want, you can leave it like natural wood wood color you can paint it white I decide to go with black and I paint the whole piece with two coats of um, black shock paint Now I want to add an extra touch. I want to make a small sign for the top of this big sign. So I'm going to use this piece of wood that I have at home and it's time to create my decal. I'm going to add a text on my Cricut Design Space that says welcome. I'm going to change the thumbs for a really cool one. And I'm also going to add another text that says to our and I'm going to put everything together so that my Cricut Designs paste can cut these in one piece in the exact way that I want to. I'm going to select the material that I'm going to be using which is going to be the same one because I want everything to match. It's going to be this beautiful smart vinyl color that has glitter and once my Cricut Maker 3 cut this super fast I'm going to remove all of the vinyl that I don't need from my decal and then I'm going to be adding the transfer tape on top to be able to transfer these to my small sign. And once I have that part ready, I'm going to be sticking that sign on the top of the big long sign that I just painted. Now it's time to make my decal for the rest of the project. And something very important is that you measure your sign so that way you know how big or small your project can be to be able to design that on the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to be creating the word home but without the O because I want the letter O to have an extra and different touch. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. I create the letter H, M and E um, and I did the first one make sure that I have the perfect size and then I just copy and paste the other ones so that way I know that all of the letters are going to have the same size. I'm gonna let my Cricut Maker 3 cut the letters for me and then I'm going to remove all of the vinyl that I don't need add a transfer tape on top and I'm going to start adding the letters on my sign. I'm going to leave a space between the letter H and the M because I want to add this really cute snowflake that I found at Dollar Tree um, and I really like it because it's big and huge and it's going to pop out from my sign and you can paint it any color but I thought that this natural color that the sign has looks amazing on the project because this is going to be outside you can add like a protective coat on this vinyl but trust me I have done this before Cricut's vinyl is amazing so it should be fine now to complete the look of the front porch I decide to add a rug so I'm going to make a really big one using these pieces of rock that I found at Dollar Tree and I love the color it matches perfect for this project so I got three I stick them together with some hot glue and a strong tape and once I have that part ready I want to personalize these a little bit so on Cricut Designs page I'm going to be searching on images I'm going to look for the word welcome I found the one that I like I'm going to add that to my designs page I'm going to change the size to make sure that it fits on my rock and then I'm going to let my Cricut Maker 3 cut these I'm going to be using like a regular black vinyl but Cricut also have a stencil materials that you can use on your smart machines and what I did was to remove the word welcome to use this as a stencil
I'm going to be painting everything with some shock paint in white color and once I have that part ready you can leave your rug like that but I decide to add some small dots um, on all of the rug to make it look like snowflakes and I think that it adds a really cute and nice touch to this rug Once it is dry, you can add these on your front porch. And I decide to add another small rug in this color. It's from Five Below, and I think it looks beautiful with the rug that we just DIY. Um, now it's time to add some small touches here and there to make this front porch beautiful. I decide to go with some trees, and something that I like to do is to put them in different levels. You, you can use like risers or planters or things like that. And I decide to add this really cute DIY reindeer that I DIY last year. For the other side where the home sign is, I decide to add a black lantern and a small Christmas tree from Dollar Tree with a basket. Now my sister-in-law front porch is pretty big so I decide to add something for the window. I'm gonna get two um, Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put them together like in different directions. I'm going to spread all of the branches out of the Christmas tree to make it look fuller and I'm going to add a bow with a snowflake ornament on the center um, to make it match with the rest of the decoration if you want you can add berries or things like that I decide to go with some leaves and I stick them with hot glue And then she have like a small um, like coffee table. So I decide to put like a big uh, glitter snowflake from Dollar Tree, a small planter with a Christmas tree and a black reindeer. And this is how the front porch looks before without any type of decoration. And this is how it looks now. Perfect for Christmas and the whole winter season. We live in Florida, but it's super cool and nice to add these type of decorations. And it's just so fun. These are super simple easy DIYs that anyone can do with the Cricut machine and I'm so happy and glad that I was able to make something just really beautiful and special for her with the help of my Cricut make sure that you check Cricut.com links in my description box so that you can get your new Cricut machine to make these holidays and seasons super special for you and someone that you love thank you for the love and support and see you on my next video guys Mwah. bye